Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at warewa.com. Today I am going to show you another awesome vegetarian dish and uh, it's a very quick and easy to make. And uh, this I am going to make it with okra but you can use some other vegetables like uh, you know tindora, karela and lot of other dishes. So for this you know you need to take you know tender okra. Okay just remove the head, cut them in the center and so that you can just open it and fill it. First we are going to cut all these okras together and then we are going to fill it with beautiful spices and make it barwan bendi. For this you need sambar powder and uh, you can use freshly ground homemade sambar powder or even you can use the store bought powder because this masala has all the spices that needs to make a good barwan bendi or other vegetables. I am going to add a little bit of amchur powder to this salt, lime or uh, lemon juice, basin that is a gram flour, little bit of onions, sliced onions into thick slices, chopped coriander. To make this dish is very easy, we are going to mix all these spices, you know take the sambar powder. To give little bit of that sarness, we are going to add amchur powder. For around 4 tablespoons of uh, sambar powder, add 1 tablespoon of amchur powder, 1 and a half tablespoon of uh, basin that is a gram flour. This basin is required because you want this masala to stay within the bendi and cook well. First mix all these ingredients and add salt and to this add lime juice and add little bit water and make into a thick paste. Always add little less amount of salt that is required because in the end we are going to sprinkle little bit salt on top of this okras and that gives extra nice taste to your bendi. Take these bendis and just fill the bendis little bit ok. Do not fill too much just required amount of masala and keep filling all these okras. Okay. And um, once you fill all this okra, we are going to put them onto the tawa. Now arrange the bendi in such a way that this masala is turning upwards because if it is downwards, this masala sometimes can disintegrate into the little bit of oil. This way what happens is this okra gets steamed and this masala with little bit basin gets cooked. That way when you turn the other side later, you know this masala does not get dissolved into the oil. Okay. You know, this is very easy and quick, only time takes is uh, cutting this okra, but this dish is very excellent and it goes extremely well with your pulaos and a uh, lot of rice dishes and especially when you are making, you know, lot of non-vegetarian dishes for your friends, for a party, make this and this will be like a special treat for your vegetarian friends, okay. And I always prefer to use uh, again non-stick for this because it is very easy to cook and uh, no masala gets stuck at the bottom. Switch on the flame at the bottom and uh, just add very little oil ok because I am using non-stick pan just add around 1 tablespoon of oil you do not need uh, to add too much oil in this. You can see this okra slightly sizzling and uh, what I like to do is just sprinkle little bit of water this method of uh, dripping little bit of water will ensure that this okra gets nicely steamed as well as get kind of a shallow fry from the bottom ok and you can cover it with a lid and let it cook for few minutes because you are cooking on a slow flame your okra will not get burnt and the masala will also get nicely steamed and cooked well. The reason why I love to use a bigger pan to make this is because in between all you do is just you know rotate it like this and then cover it with a nice lid, you know now you can just uh, turn it little bit, you can just uh, roll them ok, slowly you know once again we are going to sprinkle little bit of water and little bit and then cover them again. Just now just turn over all the okra little bit, 
ठीक है एंड वन मोर टाइम स्प्रिंकल सम और वॉटर and then just cover it up adding regular intervals of little bit water whenever it gets really dry will keep your okra moist and very tasty and this barwan bendi you can not only make with sambar powder but i have tried using rasam powder i have tried using kandi podi that is a gun powder idli powder curry leaf powder but all the time do not forget to add little bit of besan that gives you the strength of this uh, masala holding in the bendi and also little bit of amchur powder makes it little bit sour if you are using idli powder where already we have used tamarind you can skip the amchur powder just turn over the okra one more time i have sprinkled water around 4 5 times at a regular interval so that there is a little amount of moisture there to keep it nice moist at the same time you should not add so much water that the masala gets dissolved in it just sprinkle little bit of it and that will make your bendi very delicious now look at this this masala and this okra is very evenly cooked see that is how you make very good barwan bendi by using one number one thing is using non stick tawa that way you can have to add very little oil and then sprinkling little bit of water at a regular intervals so that the okra doesn't remain raw and cooks well when this comes to this point lot of people love to add little bit of onions i also cut some onions in length so add little bit of onions and we going to saute them sprinkle little bit of chopped coriander on top of this sprinkle little bit of salt and uh, sprinkle little bit of chili powder this is optional if you want it little bit spicy just add little bit you can mix up okay let it cook for 5 more minutes but this time do not put the lid on and just let this onion saute a little bit and then your dish will be excellent you know along with the onions you can also add little bit of bell pepper that is a capsicum use red or uh, yellow bell pepper and that gives a very nice contrast color to your barwan bendi and uh, you can have this bendi with either rice and uh, or chapati whatever you like wow how can you not fall in love with this dish hmm wow make this dish when your friends are coming and they will go varava so i hope you have enjoyed to learn how to make this barwan bendi with your washa but remember varava is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your cooking recipes and tips so others can benefit from your great cooking Thank you.